Hey guys, AstroDev here, back with another video, and today I am finally continuing my Codename Engine tutorial series, uh, three months late, because to be fair, I didn't think it was going to be do going to do that well, but it is on the uptake now, um, I mean, it, la last time I checked it was only on like 800 views, and that was months ago, and it turns out it, it did pretty well compared to some of my more usual videos. So yeah, I'm going to continue with it. So this is going to be custom free play. Uh, you can take this code that's going to be in the game banana description down below. Uh, so yeah, download that. If you are lazy and you don't want to copy all my code and actually learn what it does. So yeah, go down below, but not without watching the video first because I, I love watch time. And please subscribe if you want me to continue doing more tutorials. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a custom free play. This can be taken and used in other situations. Like for example, say you wanted a mod that starts the song immediately on the title screen after pressing enter. You can take this logic and rework it into your, into your thing. So basically, I'm going to go over the basic setup that's going to be inside of this mod pack if you download it or if you're following along, set it up like this. So you're going to want a your mod folder, and you're going to want one data folder. You can have other stuff in here if you're using custom images, but this is purely just code because in this example I'm going to be using base game assets. And inside of your data you're going to want a global HX and inside of states, custom freeplay.hx or whatever you want to call it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sort out our global HX. Uh, this is essentially what allows us to go to custom states. So yeah, um, basically you only really need two variables. I'm just going to copy them over from another global that I have. So essentially, first of all, you can have a static variable called redirect states. This is essentially an array or a map, which what it does is it changes an uh, a FLX states so like play state, title state, all that, and makes it go to your custom HX state. So, what we're going to be doing is since we're only doing it for free play, we're going to remove these two and we're simply going to put in here free play state. And then you need to do the f uh, fat equal sign, haven't or fat arrow, I have no idea what that actually is. I'm pretty sure that's a, like a pass through variable. And then we're simply just going to rename this to custom free play state after how we named it inside the mod. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to have another function. Uh, this is the most important function for the whole thing. Because if you don't have this function, nothing in your mod will work. Essentially, this is a for loop that runs before the state is switched. And when a state is switched is, for example, going from title to to the menu is classed as a state switch or from free play to play state when you play your song. Essentially, all this does is it checks um, each um, entry inside of redirect states. So you can have multiple. And then what it does is it checks what re state it's requesting and compares it to the our redirect state. So say for example, it was requesting play state, and we've told it in redirect states that play state gets redirected to, I don't know, custom play state. And all it essentially does is it sets the requested state to a new mod state, which means it's a modded state, so it's in data states, and the said state. So that's all we need for this, and now we're going to go ahead and work on our custom free play so essentially the way I'm gonna do this is we're gonna have a nifty little feature uh, essentially we're gonna have we only really need two variables for this whole thing anyway so we're gonna have one called index like this which is equal to zero and we're gonna have an array so we're gonna have var song list which is an array a string array and in here, we're simply going to have a tutorial, um, dad, dad battle. Uh, let me check if how they're done, because we're basically, we're, we're basically just going to patch into base game songs. 
Uh, we're, we're just we're just gonna have two for this. Uh, now nah, we'll have three. Why the hell not? Uh, we're gonna have tutorial. Uh, thorns. And, ugh. So this is our song list. So these are the songs that we have, or you would have in your mod. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a create function, which is ran whenever this state is opened. So what we're gonna do here, pretty simple. All we need to do in here is this is where you put your UI, if you have any. Now I don't have any UI, so um, I'm not very good with sprite arrays. Uh, yeah, so literally, actually no, sprite arrays I can do, animated sprites I can't, so we're going to do var uh, sprites list uh, array string like this, and we're simply going to put in the images, so bf spirit and tank man like this and all we do is we go ahead and we make one sprite of our um, icon sprite because why not which is a funkin sprite which use funkin sprite for codename modding and basically we're just going to set up our icon sprite to start off with and then the way we're going to do this obviously is uh, icon sprite equals new funkin sprite uh, let's uh, center it so let's just put it zero zero and then we're gonna center it so icon sprite dot screen center uh, on the x-axis here we go uh, I don't remember no I'm pretty sure it's, no no I'm pretty sure yeah yeah it is a big x like that if not it'll break um, yeah and then from here we do Actually, no, we don't put it there because there's nothing there at the moment. We need to load the graphic first, my bad. We'll load uh, graphic paths dot image paths dot image. And essentially what we're gonna put in here is we're gonna do our sp array sprites list and we're gonna do index by right here. So essentially all this does is it's just gonna load BF on start. And we're gonna add our icon sprite and then we're just gonna do a nice little trace say an icon added there we go and then here's where we come into the nitty gritty uh, function update right here and all we do in update we continuously call load graphic paths dot image sprites list index this essentially means whenever you press left or right to change the song, it'll change the image. Um, yeah, and then we're going to also inside of our update logic, uh, we're gonna continue. We're gonna make a custom function. We're just gonna call handle input, and then if we come down here, function handle inputs continuous. And essentially this is where we're gonna this is gonna be the main logic of the thing so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we are going to have well we only we only really need one thing so if flxg dot keys dot just pressed dot uh, left so to go left then we're gonna do um, index minus minus and underneath this we're going to do if index is less than zero we're going to set it back to zero this stops index out of range which will cause your mod to crash and then we do the same for pressing right dot keys dot just pressed dot right and we do the same except we increment it and then we do if index is greater uh, than song list dot length I'm not sure if dot length works I'm not sure if that doesn't work you just literally make it bigger than than the amount of images or however many songs you have 
Uh, I'm going to see if this works. It should do. And then we literally just set it to index. And we literally just sent it. Yeah, that th this should be it. Songless dot length. So if it's greater, it gets set to the max. Yep. And then we literally just need one more handling. If flxg dot keys dot just pressed dot enter. This is the main logic that we're going to be using. Then essentially, this is where the nitty gritty comes in. We do we call play state. We load our song load song and then we're literally just going to take it from the song list and then we use index as reference and then we need to put down the difficulty so it's hard should be hard over capital H like that I think I don't think it's really case sensitive false false I have no idea what this actually means I'm pretty sure this is like reset score and bot play more than likely and then we just do a flxg dot switch state new play state like that and yeah this this should work when I boot it up so I'm not gonna bother with centering it I can't be bothered just remove that and then put the icon in the center so it should be about 500 by 500 I just keep it 500 by 500 it makes things a lot easier okay try number two electric boogaloo we I mean, know try number three actually okay should work this time yep okay so we've got our icons uh, yeah we can't go any further when we go back it does work uh, let's select UG. So when we hit enter, it should load us into UG. Yep. And now, if, say for example, mm, I want to play Thorns. Or rather, nah. I personally uh, would like to play Tutorial. And there you go. That is how you go ahead and create a custom free play state. If you wanted to put this into main menu, literally, um, you do the exact same code. The only thing I can say, uh, if you're doing uh, development, if you have the uh, editor, the editor tool pop up. So when you hit seven, you can go to chart manager and all that. Um, you will need a Boolean to track. So essentially, it's literally just var is, just call it is in debug, and then immediately set it to fault. Actually, I'll show you inside of my code I've already written for another mod I'm working on. Uh, where is it? It's in my other window. No, it's in this window. Yeah, basically all you want to do is you want to have a, a boolean is in debug, and then essentially all you want to do here is check if the player is in the debug menu or not if they're not load the song if they are it doesn't do anything because what would end up happening is when you open up to go to the chart editor you load into the actual song instead instead of the chart editor but yeah with that said i hope you do all enjoy and i'll uh, let me know what tutorial you want to see next um i could do mid song mechanics mid song videos um uh, window utils, like moving the window around the screen randomly. I could do that. Uh, but yeah, hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Astrodev, out.